Oh, oh, sorry. Good morning. Welcome to uh, Dave TV, DCRDV.com, for Monday, the 31st of January. This is my blue Panasonic ball and chain radio that I got as a Christmas gift back in uh, 19, um, 19, 19, when was that, 1972. And I want to send to everybody that gives us. Good old AM radio. Make sure to your side. Anyhow, this was a, a Panasonic ball and chain radio that I got back in uh, 1972 uh, from my parents as a Christmas present. I wanted a round radio, and I got one. And it still works. It works great, except, of course, there's uh, very little to listen to on AM radio anymore. But uh, that's that. The big news today. The big news today is Lisa Baden. Lisa Baden will not be heard on uh, WTOP radio anymore. Nothing to do with Lisa Baden at all. It has to do with Metro Traffic. Metro Traffic is the company that provides traffic reports to WTOP and its sister stations and a lot of, a lot of other stations in the market. And uh, Metro Traffic, uh, it's an outside provider. Okay, so if a station doesn't want to have traffic reporters, they will say, okay, Metro Traffic will pay you so much money per month. You provide us the service, and they'll provide traffic reports. They can also provide sports and news reports. So a lot of the station's newscast traffic reports are handled by Metro Traffic. Well, WTOP uh, last year figured, well, we don't need an outside provider to provide traffic reports anymore. So they decided to start their own in-house traffic department. That starts tomorrow, officially, although they've had the people on staff there for, for a while now. So, as of tomorrow, as of February 1st, Lisa Baden and some of the other Metro Traffic people like Julie Wright and, and you know, will no longer be heard on WTOP and their sister stations. They will now have their own traffic people. And I'm looking at the, uh, the, the people at, uh, that, that they've hired. We've got people like uh, Chris Roth and Jack Taylor and Bob Imler and Randy Martin. Remember Randy Martin? She's been on a number of stations. Uh, they've hired a whole bunch of people that will be doing WTOP's traffic. Bob Marburg, who does the, the afternoon traffic on WTOP, he's the only, he's always been a WTOP reporter, uh, employee. He was, you know, well, WTOP had used Metro Traffic for all the other traffic reports except for Bob Marburg's. Now, Bob Marburg will be joined by a whole bunch of other people at WTOP, so that will be their, their traffic uh, staff. So you no longer will be hearing Lisa Baden and Julie Wright and the other Metro Traffic people on WTOP anymore. Now the question is, are they going to go to some other stations? Now you already hear people like Lisa Baden. You hear Lisa Baden on uh, Channel 7. She does the morning uh, traffic for Channel 7, and she will continue to do that. And Julie Wright will continue to do the uh, morning traffic for Channel 5. Uh, Julie Wright also does the uh, does radio reports for like PGC and WJFK and some other stations, so you'll she will continue to be heard there. The question is whether Lisa Baden will be landing another local radio station now that she doesn't have WTOP anymore. You know, will somebody like WMAL or Sports Talk 980 or somebody else sign up and have you know Lisa doing the reports there? But then if Lisa does move there, then it would bounce out the other people that are working on those stations at Metro Traffic. So it's it's a big mess. Uh, Metro Traffic right now is being very quiet about it. They're not saying anything about it. And I hear from a number of people at Metro Traffic there's, that there's a lot of concern. And, uh, you know, they wonder, you know, they're not going to have the big kahuna WTOP anymore. And, uh, you know, are, what's, gonna mean, what's it going to mean for, you know, their employment status, especially a lot of the part-timers over there. So a lot, of, a lot of news, a lot of stuff to shake out over there at Metro Traffic as we uh, see what happens regarding this whole uh, Metro Traffic leaving WTOP. So WTOP now will have its in-house in traffic department. I guess they're going to call it WTOP Traffic. And they're also going to have, they also ha already have an in-house sports department. 
Uh, as of last year, WTOP used to do their sports reports basically using Metro Traffic's people. Now those, here's the difference. Metro Traffic did allow the sports people that used to work there to come over to TOP. So all those people that used to work at, uh, used to, all the, the names you heard on WTOP uh, are now working over at, um, at uh, the Metro Traffic people, the sports people, are now working at WTOP. So they all left and went over there. Then. Somehow the contracts were allowed to move over. So there was really no, is really very seamless. So now the people that do sports on WTOP are WTOP employees, even though they used to be Metro Traffic employees. But the same is not true for the Metro Traffic traffic people. <laughs> the Metro Traffic traffic people are staying with Metro Traffic. They're not moving to TOP. That's why TOP is hiring a whole new staff. So it'll be interesting to see where Lisa Baden ends up on the DC radio dial if she does end up somewhere else, or whether she just continues to work for Channel Seven. But uh, you know, a lot of people they love and they love or hate Lisa. You know, she's she's a, a, a very spicy personality on the station, and she's very funny. And a lot of people, you know, when they're sitting there in traffic and the road rage in the morning, they don't want someone making jokes about their situation. And so, you know, there's some people that just don't like Lisa Baden's style. But uh, a lot of people love her. She's been around for a long time. And, uh, you know, everybody in the radio biz loves her. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see where she ends up. So that's the big news of today. We'll have more in uh, on this whole Metro Traffic shakeout in WTOP later this week on future editions of... Uh, uh, Dave TV. Um, what else do we got here? Our, uh, our radio memorabilia of the day. Remember them? Big K Radio. W, uh, <laughs> KCW. <laughs> I was like, my brain! WK Remember WKCW in Warrington? This was a really effing cool country, bluegrassy station, you know, locally based down there in Warrington there, right off of, uh, Route 29, and it was a cool station for many, many, many years. This station existed for 20, 30, 40, I don't know, a long time. Eventually, it got bought out, and I don't know what it's running now. It's probably running uh, Spanish or Christian contemporary. I don't know, but it is, this was a really nice station for a lot of years. And uh, it's long gone now, but uh, we remember it. Big K Radio! And uh, today is uh, CD of the day. I don't know why I picked this one. I just was walking by the cabinet over there, and I thought, eh, it sounds like a craft work day. This is a cool band. I love these I love these guys. Uh, some of them, that early techno rock from the, uh, you know, when was this? This was 1978. This goes way back. But it, it's brilliant to listen to today. Love craft work. Always will. And that's that. Okay, so uh, that's the big news today. The, uh, we will uh, have... Keep, we will keep our ear to the ground for all the latest news. Uh, oh, yeah, we had uh, some, some guy over at JFK was let out of the studio in handcuffs the other day, and we are still working on developing that story. We know a lot about it, but we have to confirm a lot of it before we go with it. But, uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal, really. But, you know, it's like, yeah, JFK are in handcuffs. Yeah. It, you know, it sounds like big deal. Anyhow, we'll be, we'll be following that story. Uh... You know, I was thinking, you know, remember that old movie, Bye Bye Birdie? Well, I got the headline on here, Bye Bye Baden. Bye Bye Baden on T.O.P. Bye Bye Baden. Oh. <coughs> nah. oh, what else? What else? What else? DCRDV Plus, we've got memories of Dennis Holy. Remember him? Remember Dennis Holy? He used to do a talk show on PBS. Uh, he used to be, way back in the 1960s, he did a talk show on WMAL-TV, the old Channel 7 here in Washington. So we got some pictures of him up there on DCRDV+. DCRDV+, is only $39 for a year. Just send us a $39 donation. We'll send you the access code, and you can look at all these wonderful, cool memories of uh, Washington, Baltimore Radio TV. We've got jingles. We've got station histories. We've got a whole ton of memorabilia, and it's updated many multiple times per week. We have 60-plus galleries of uh, really cool uh, uh, graphics up there. Old pictures, old news clips, a whole lot of cool stuff. And some tribute pages. we got tribute pages to people like Jim Vance and, uh, you know, the old WHFS and uh, lots of cool stuff on there. So do check it out. Do check it out. DCRTV.com, our plus side. So that's it for today. Thank you all. It's been a great January at DCRTV. The weather's Stinks, you know, snow and all that, but we've had a really good month. Um, 
uh, I have to say, good traffic and good ad revenue. It's, and I want to thank you all. It's been a it's been a record month ad revenue wise. I really want to thank you all, and I want to let you know that uh, we're using we're going to be using this uh, DCR TV TV thing, Dave TV, to uh, you know to generate some ad revenue. So please, uh, if you want to have your product or your service or your show or your whatever mentioned, let us know, and we'll uh, you know shout it out right here. Uh, and let's see, let's pick an advertiser of the, the day today that we haven't uh, you know, talked about. Uh, the U.S. Naval Institute in Annapolis. They're one of, our, one of our nice advertisers that's been with us for quite a while. They do a lot of, uh, they, they provide your news organization with a lot of background information on various um, defense issues. So if, you know, if you're doing a story, you're out there working at the Post or someplace and you're doing a story on some defense issues and stuff like that, you can give them a call, email them, and... Uh, you know, they will get you the not the usual military talking heads, okay? So it, it's a good service if you're out there running a cable news network like Mr. Rupert Murdoch. Anyhow, you have a good one, and I will see you soon. And don't forget to stay